Hey guys, welcome back to today's episode of Jaffo Plays. We are still doing the Hunt for Darkstone in the new Forbidden Fortress uh, expansion or starter set for Shadows of Brimstone. It is the Oriental Feel uh, series. Samurais and yokais. Pretty much. Um, we are looking for some dark stone that we some crazy old man told us about, or we overheard some crazy old man telling us about. It actually took us into another world, the dreaded belly of the beast. We have found a strange creature that we are traveling through, this large interdimensional being. We found it. We found this dark stone pile. It is in this room. We want to harvest it. Unfortunately, it is guarded by, I guess, the shittiest monster I have. <laughs> as far as, like, look and feel, I mean, I know they're not painted, but when I paint them, they'll look freaking amazing. Look at this guy. This guy looks awesome. This guy clubbed the crap out of us right in the beginning. No, he keeps um, clubbing the crap out of you. You. He hit me, and then he was trying to hit you. Yeah, this, but this you're is the what, one who keeps this is what, uh, backwards. This is what I get for this. It's unfortunate. Um... I know they're going to be releasing a miniature for this later, and I definitely will be picking this up, or picking it up. Um, we also got to get the corpse piles for the dishonored. <coughs> That's a later one. That one I don't care so much about. I do care about this because this is the major monster in this. If you look through the Otherworld threat deck, Acid Blob, Acid Blob. There are three Acid Blobs in this deck. Three sets of Acid Blobs. That is depressing. Super, super depressing. The other ones, the other choices are the Devoured Dead, not a problem. You just use the Dishonored Dead model, and the Parasitic Tentacles. Well, this is one of the few times you'll actually see them is in here. It's parasitic Tentacles, not a problem. But the freaking Acid Blobs. So if I got to complain about anything, that's what I got, is that complaint. But that's neither here nor there. We got to kill that thing. It's time to hold back the darkness. Uh, we got one, two there. Let me double check. I make sure I kept that up to date. One, two, three, four, six, seven, seven, and two is nine. So it should be nine spaces in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It is nine spaces in. Unfortunately, this is an eight plus. Actually, because of the surrounded, it is a nine plus. This is nope. a fail. And here's where shit starts to go hey, crazy. Look, that means the one thing goes away. What? Well, this goes away. Yeah, but wasn't there... Oh, was it that? It was just this. Okay. So we lose the surrounded. We're surrounded by a, apparently a large... What really depresses me is... I'm going to go back on my rant. This is what's considered a large base in this game. This is a large base monster. So... Compared to our medium bases. Right? Compared to the regular small bases or medium bases. But surrounded is, surrounded is done. Which is that? Ah! Dropping cards. Spilling things. All right. Dropping cards. We're good. Totally good. Um, so we get a growing dread card. We don't, get to we don't have the money to block it either. At what cost? Though you struggle on to complete your honorable goals, you begin to realize that this test of your courage may take, may take a deeper toll than you had imagined. Until the end of this adventure, any time a hero is KO'd, they lose one health permanently. Hey, look. We had this. Yes, we did. Specimen jar thing. Yes. Uh, House of Healing specimen jar. There you go. All right. This is not an ambush, which means I am faster. So I go first. Oh, one of the things we did not bring up in our last encounter of these guys is they have a really unique movement of D8. So they don't actually move a straight number of squares every turn. Uh, cocti? Cocti? Speed of six. That gets me somewhere, so I can kind of maybe take advantage. Do I want to just drop the fireball? No, that's a bad idea. Five puts me there. And let's put two mana into Elemental Blast. It gets me three hits. I might be able to get actually some damage on this guy. I hit for two hits. This guy has three defense as well. Holy shit. 
shit. Uh, he doesn't have tough, though, so you can critical him. Mm -hmm. So I hit for three and two. So I hit for a total of five damage. He has ten total health. I get 25 experience, and that's it. So that puts me at 75, no, 80, 480. Almost there, almost there. I might level up at the end of this encounter. Well, actually, if we win, I get 50 experience. I level up at the end of this encounter, as long as we succeed. What's up? Samara, it does not mention that you, you can't do that while you're in combat. Yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you don't want to move and just kind of scoop up shit on the ground... I mean, let's be honest, there's a gigantic acidic blob there. I would think you should probably worry about that first, but... But then I won't get it. <coughs> and who knows when the next time we'll come back here. Is. That's fine. You want to stand there and scoop up poop in the, in the rib cage? Uh, speed of two actually goes to him. I guess it's... A, we'll call it a him. It? It yeah. is probably a more improper. It's going to move three, and it wants to get as close to as many of us as possible... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It is equidistance. Choose who is the sucker. Me. One, two, three. That's fine. I'm just going to go... Shoot out a bunch of magic missiles and burn the crap out of this guy before he gets here. It's like, plus then that'll get you... Some more experience, so you might be able to level up beforehand. Yes. My turn, then. Yes, it is. Your turn. Speed. Five. I'm forgoing my movement. Make a cutting five plus test. Three dice. Come on. Got a yes. five plus. Mark down that your specimen jar is filled. Woohoo! And if you have a ranged combat, you can nope. use it. You're not a ranged combat nope. guy. Nope. Can you use guns? I don't have of the restriction, okay. but then that means battle tactics I can't use. Why? They're melee only? Uh, I believe so. I think that was something that we read in there. Interesting. I'll have to look that up. Um, so that's that. She is done, unfortunately. <clears throat> Well, here, while I do all of that, I will let you look up your battle tactics and how they work. So we're at the end of the round. Time to hold back the darkness. It is still an 8+, plus now. I got an 8+. plus. We're good. I am first. I regenerate my mana. I generate two points of speed. I will walk back by you. I will swing with a hit. As I cast Elemental Blast for three hits. Three hits. See if I can murder this thing. Uh, I hit it for two damage only. So one minus three, not enough. Three minus three, not enough. Five minus three, hits it for two wounds. And since we only have the one, we can just put that on here. And it does two wounds. So he's at 7 of 10. Um, Did you get your experience? Nope, 10 experience. 490. <laughs> uh, get rid of that, 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 that. Oh, crap. Um, he'll move. He'll move one space. Uh, he's got to go closer, so he'll go there. To you. Please. Did you find anything that says it restricts no. guns? Six. One, two, three. I thought there was something that we read last when we were doing this that. Uh, well, it does say your fury tokens only come from combat hits. That. Combat hits are only melee, so... Yeah, that that's what it was. But I moved. Alright, move. Get the killing blow. Murder this disgusting acid blob. And take its head? <laughs> yup. Does an acid blob have a head, guys? Shh. I don't know if it does. I think that's cheating. It was 
Maybe? Yes. You know what? Um, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to use my new lunging thrust. Okay. What does that do? Immediately move up to two spaces, ignoring escape test, then do a single free combat hit to an adjacent enemy that was not adjacent to you before. Oh, see if you can maximize your damage. So in case you flub the first one. It's like, I don't get any fury off of it, but it's like, hey, I have a new thing. So I just lunge forward. It hits with a critical. That's enough to kill it. Because it can only take three. It takes three. It's dead. Well, that was sort of anticlimactic, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm also taking its head. You're also what? Taking its head? <laughs> There's no head. You can take a, a scoop of poop or something. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's anticlimactic. Almost depressing, even. <laughs> Let's be honest, that was horrible. Okay. So, you know what we forgot to do off the last mission, or off the last combat? And we have both were bleeding out of our ears. We forgot to uh, take a rest. You get a rest at the end of the round. Oh, yeah. So, I would say let's heal D3, and it has to affect your sanity. So we are both bleeding out of our ears. Yep. So I get a sanity point back. I get three. Now we get a sanity, or we get another rest, which you can use for either. I get three more to my sanity. That puts me at four. Three. Puts me Although at it doesn't matter because we're done with our encounter, which means we heal the full. But five. I'm sure you guys have noticed. I'm sure by now you guys have commented. Um... I'm sorry we screwed it up. <clears throat> Whatever. So, let's <coughs> do the fun part. Loot! Loot. Maybe we can find some artifacts. That one? Mm. Womp womp. I get a dark stone. But I do get 20 experience points, which... I get 20 experience, too. Which levels me up... But I got... So I'm at 10. I need this. I got, this should come in handy. Draw a gear card or an artifact card in an in other world. So you get another world artifact. It's right there by you. Shuffle that up and draw. Okay, the sorceress. 2d6. Two two six. Is that cocked? That's cocked. Mm. So, 4... And one is five. I get plus one strength or plus one initiative. Strength is good. Strength is way better. You need strength. I need, I totally do. Hold on. Uh, Choosing from the top. I got a bile sack. See, this is, this is the head that I collected. It's a bile sack. Okay. This and gain D6 health. Four health. Discard to throw like a bomb. After any bounces, every model in the same and adjacent spaces where to where it lands takes a bleeding marker. Yeah, this is literally <laughs> what I collected. Fair enough. See, um, it thematically works. So, that's that. Oh, I do get a new ability. Do I want another spell? Do I want I that one additional powders? <laughs> well, yeah, I know. Iron skin gives me six plus armor. I'm also immune to bleeding and burning and plus one strength. Holy shit! I that actually would thematically fit because I do have blood of the dragon and that's the dragon kin uh, clan. And then you can uh, get go better melee. Oh, I don't want melee. I'm just saying. Oh, then you can. Oh, I might have to go down that. Um, let's see. Otherwise, void lore gives me counter spell once per turn. Spend two mana to fully cancel the effects of an enemy spell. We haven't seen any enemy spells yet, so we're okay. Oh, I bet you that's the Hariagano. The Hariagano probably does that. Start of each adventure, pl add with plus two encounter arcane powders in the bag. This does not have a limit of how much arcane powder can be in my Roku Demon bag. And I get plus one lower. But I really like that iron skin ability. A new spell would be awesome. More mana would be awesome, but I really think Dragonkin is what I'm taking. What, and that also is immune to fire? I'm immune to bleeding and burning. Right. I am now immune to bleeding, burning, and poison. Well, I know so, the living construct uh, 
this one right here is what I'm going to take. I gain armor 6+, plus, which means I am very similar <coughs> to her. I get a 5 plus defense and then a 6 plus armor roll, which is freaking amazing. So I'm going to gain the dragonkin. Uh, we'll add plus 1 strength onto that. Uh, minus burn. Just so you guys see what I'm doing, I'm kind of keeping my notes of what I do. I write shittily. Sorry, guys. Okay, so that actually happens like kind of in the middle of when okay, shit goes I, off. What is the name of the thing that I took? Your ability? Yeah. It is Battle Tested. It gave you a new tactic and plus one luck. Oh, dude. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, I just happened to be flipping through here, and it's like the last thing is uh, it talks about the last mission for the uh, uh, Belly of the Beast side is called If It Bleeds, and it talks about the uh, three gland tokens that I have, or the, <laughs> three, the three organ tokens. It has a thymux gland, a bile sac, and the icker pump. It's not a blood. It's not a heart pumping blood. It pumps icker. <laughs> that, okay, is that is amazing. That is like gross and amazing. Okay. We finally get to the end of the mission. The XP gain and the amount of Darkstone that the heroes find in the stockpile is based upon the mission length they chose before the mission began, as noted below. Each hero receives a reward for completing the mission. Medium stockpile, 50 XP. Puts me to 250. Fucking A. Puts me to 60. When... <laughs> that's, what, that's what happens when I leveled up at the beginning, where you leveled that, up as the, well, at that the end. And that's what happens when you're doing a lot of the damage, and I'm taking all of the damage for you. But that's why I've been letting <laughs> you open the door. Um, get, get you a little extra. We also gain D3 plus one Darkstone. So I'm gaining at least two. I'm gaining four. Same here. So four to you. Puts both of us. Oh Puts no. Puts me at six. Seven. Seven. That's right. Seven. I'm at six. This ain't good. So, that is the end of the adventure. We now go to the other book to clean up for the end of the adventure, which is not going to be good because this does have the campaign pre play rules. Okay, at the end of each adventure, when playing the campaign at the end of each adventure, every hero must do the following in order. Recover if KO'd. Nope. Fully heal your health and sanity. Okay, I like that. Blam. Remove any status effect markers. Dude, I have the ability to remove them. We're totally good. We but, should never but, actually have. Plus, you're immune. You're now fine. I'm immune to them all. Burn, bleed, and, po and poison. Oh, it's so exciting. So that's probably why you were kind of excited to step into the thing. Right? Because there's a lot of poisoning and bleeding. Could be. Um, actually, now we would resolve any reward failure results of the mission. We will roll for corruption from Darkstones. Let's find the next paragraph. At the end of the adventure, each hero must roll a d6 for every Darkstone they are currently carrying, including items with the Darkstone icon. For a 1, 2, or 3, that hero takes a corruption hit from the Darkstone, Dark Influence of their stone. I get 7 dice. I get 6. Oh, shit. Let's do you first. So every one, two, or three is an ouch. You need a four plus save. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six wounds. Take six wounds. If you ever hit five, you take a mutation, I believe. Let me double check. So these are corruption? These are the green damage. Look, let's pull out our fancy tokens. Um, dual weapons being that. One, two... Three, four, five, six. Uh, Alright, so there's that. Let me you get find. ten total. <laughs> I think you're going to spend five right away. I'm just saying, you get ten total. <clears throat> I think you're going to be spending five right away. Cool. Oh, dude. I'm not cool enough like everyone else is in our other <laughs> uh, If you guys would like me to do a small little video kind of going through this, reading the stories of what's going on, this one talks about the belly of the beast, and this one talks about the feudal Japan. Put it in the comments down below as I'm flipping through and seeing all the cool shit that I can do. Along with cool um, painted models. Yeah. So, so hopefully you guys have seen the first video by now, by the time you've watched this and uh, would like to, or have seen what we've done. Oh, hey, look, it shows you how to... Oh, neat. Look, how you to have use... stuff... 
for any reason. Travel has a mutation. But we didn't see how mutations are gained. This is just what mutation you gain. Um, <laughs> oh, ta uh, willpower saves may be used to prevent those. So take six willpower saves. Okay. So six four plus saves again. Uh, one, two saves, so you do take four damage. So not as bad, but injury, madness, death, uh... There's got to be something in here that talks about corruption hits. You'd think. Side encounters. Um, there's corruption damage. Ah, corruption and mutation. Each hero, every hero has starts with a default corruption resistance value of 5. It means you can only hold up to 4 corruption points at any time without any ill effect. As soon as a hero has 5 corruption points... Those corruption are removed, and the hero must immediately roll once on the mutation chart. A hero's corruption resistance value may be modified by items they acquired, events that events they encounter, or their adventures, or any number of other things, causing the hero to hold more or fewer corruption points before they mutate. Um, <laughs> yay! All right, so we got you done. Time for me. I get seven dice. There's three, four, five, six, seven. Four pluses. Mark that on my uh, two two immediate saves. Well, that's nice. You only save some. Now these get a willpower save of four plus, Double. and one more save. We both start with four green wounds. Well, you're doing yeah. It's like I uh, marked mine down on my sheet. All right. Reset your hero's ability token so you lose all your fury. I gain all of my mana back. Uh, hey, this is no longer in a play. We're not penalized by our mana anymore, or our mana or other ability tokens anymore. Um, corruption. Yep, I'll take those. So, for corruption. And then heroes will gain one grit for traveling to town stay. I like grit. Grit is nice. So we're going to pause, we're going to clean up, we're going to get everything prepared for the travel back to town, and we'll be right back. Okay, we are now set up after a small, well, on our end, a long uh, break to uh, get things together. We finally dragged our way out of the belly of the beast and out of this godforsaken fortress, like and it is time to figure out travel hazards work again. Page 28. And also remember your letter from the Emperor. We can cancel one of those travel hazards. Yep. Actually, we got excited because if you guys look through... Uh, well, that's just painting guys. But if you look through the books here, um, there's talking about people. And I know from the other editions that it talks about... Um, when it talks about these people, these are extra heroes that'll end up eventually getting released. So we were looking to see how much of the Gen Con or how much of the Kickstarter released stuff, and actually, it didn't release a lot. Any of those? Yeah, a lot of this shit is hidden, <clears throat> still. So I mean, that's cool. That's that's that much more stuff that can. Well, get... it's like just looking at some of them. A couple of them look like uh, they're, well, like the one that you read, the Hard Life one. It's like that looked like the orphan from yeah. uh, the Old West one. And it's like, it did say that she was taken from an Old West well, town. Well, here's the ninja clan, so here's the ninja assassin chick that's actually in the base game. Um, so, I mean, some of this is the heroes themselves, but... Giving more background. And how, they, and how they came into being, or not into being, but how they came into being part of. Um, ah, yes. Preparing for travel. Every hero must roll a d6. On a one or a two, you add a travel hazard to the journey. So we add two travel hazards. I could, once per travel, you may cancel a travel hazard. Does that, is, do we treat that like the grit ability and we get to reveal it? I believe so. All right. I think that's how we played it last time. Okay, we'll play it that way again. So, travel hazard. If we're doing that wrong, let us know. Right. Uh, oops, I forgot to start my timer. That's okay. I'll roll first. 
11, 12. So it's 3d6? It is 3d6. Okay. Um, I know you're used to the expanded one, which is d66. Uh, so this one is, we found a Cursed Spring. Um, so yeah, I got a Cursed Spring. Do I want to go to a Cursed Spring? We don't have much of a choice, I guess. <sighs> well, whatever. Uh, I guess I try and delete it. No. no. So I don't delete it. We go to the Cursed Spring. The mountain springs in this area have a strange air around them, sweetly smelling, but with a hint of death. As you stop to drink, you notice that the forested path around the spring is littered with bones of the dead. Not a good sign. Ichiro loses a grit. Oh, lovely. Thanks. If you have no grit to lose, you you take D3 wounds, ignoring defense. Oh, jeez. And what is your punishment for us on our long, luxurious journey? Ten. Ten. So once per travel, you may cancel a travel hazard. I think it's a once ability. I yeah. can't use it. Um, the bridge across the raging river ahead has been demolished, either blown up to prevent demons from coming across or torn apart during a skirmish. You'll have to find another way around, which will take time, time you don't have. When you get to town... The heroes can spend no more than two days for their town stay before starting the next adventure. You have to do everything fast. So everything has to be done quickly. Well, that's not good. Yep. Well, I know where I want to go, and I know where it is. So that's feeling, yeah. Camp. You know what? I have money. Fuck that. I'm going there. I where do you want to stay? In the You're going to stay in the campsite? One day. One day. I'll stay one day. We'll see what happens. Uh, two dice. Oops. And this goes here. I'll go first. Ten. An uneventful night. An uneventful evening of drunken debauchery. Raucous songs around the campfire. See, this is why I go there. Four. A plague spreads through the camp like wildfire. Make a spirit five plus test to avoid getting sick. I got one. I got six. If successful, gain ten experience points. We. I don't know. Do we both get suffered from that? I believe. I'm gonna say yes again. If I'm wrong, let me know. We'll so take ten experience. Ten experience points. Uh, spirit. Five plus. You got got it. it. I get ten experience points. I just mostly want the experience. I need the experience points. Uh, Seventy. So there we go. Um, well, House of Healing for me. Yep. Going to join me. Yep. Try not to uh, rat out the doctor selling us to demons. Dude, I wasn't trying to. I was drunk. Yeah. Really? I was drunk. Leave me alone. Uh, House of Healing is the last one on there. It's ladies we are first. looking at that one. Give me uh, 2d6. Well, well, if it's ladies first, then it's you. Well, actual player ladies. Okay. All too familiar on the battlefields and the villagers in this region of late. The stench of death does nothing. Eleven. The healer gives you a free specimen jar and, ta and asks that you recover a sample from another world for him. We can only have one. I'm going to give him one. I'm going to get a new one. Okay. Secure that. <laughs> I'm trading one in. Yep, me too. And emptying one out. Me too. So I'm going to empty it out and he's going to ask me to go get him more. So So let's flip it over for the specimen jar. Yep, first. We'll, quick do, we'll quick do that. So specimen jar, limited one. Yeah. Limit one. So D6 times 100. I get 300 bucks. I get 600. Oh, man. 610. Oh, I should have gone the other way around. I should have gone to the guard house first. I could have sold my dark stone, made a ton of cash because... Yeah. You are put in the bed. Oh, well, I'm sure. Limit one surgery attempt per injury. Um, do I get rid of the? I gotta get rid of the gouged eye. Yeah. I really do. All right, so this is gonna cost me d six times fifty. Oh, this is expensive. It's gonna cost me two hundred fifty bucks. Makes and sense. You gotta fix your eye. 
Yep. Eyes are expensive. I need a four plus for this to get healed. The injury uh, two two three is a failed. The injury mutation is not healed, and the healers refund half your money for the failed attempt. Oh, well, that's so at least nice of him. It cost me hundred and a quarter, so I'll figure that out in a minute. Uh, uh, this costs you three hundred to fix your yeah, leg. That's and you know what? I'm going to do that same. Limit one surgery attempt per injury. I might as well try and get my uh, slash leg fixed while I'm 300, you said? Yep. Oh, shit. My leg costs 300. So roll a d6. What do you got? Need a four plus. Success. The injury is healed. Sweet. Failed. I get 150 of that back. So it costs me 275. So puts me to 300, 335. Bummer. Did not heal. So that's good. <clears throat> Limit one surgery attempt per injury. Um, somebody let me know if they've changed the rules or if the rules are like, this guy can't fix my eye and leg, but maybe I could go to another town and get my eye and leg fixed. Because this sucks, and I'm willing to murder my character right now, starting over at level one, just to be able to get rid of that that perk. Um, I think so. Otherwise, it, otherwise, there's no point. Once you're, once you get injured, you might as well just kill off your character. Oh, I bet you, I bet you it is. Because look, number one is injury mutation is too severe; it can never be healed through surgery. There you go. Okay. I bet you that's what it is then. Um, what can I get here? Uh, I already have a specimen jar. Tonics give you grit. Herbs give you extra mon or extra healing, right? Herbs are two d six healing. Um, tonics discard to recover a grit. Can you get potions here? Bandages, healing herbs, and tonics. Okay. Um. Well, I got what I need here because I have no money. Mm, how much are herbs? Herbs are 125. Actually, I have money and I think I'm going to buy this. Hmm. I have six dark stone and $300. I'm going to get a void heart. Once per adventure, when KO'd by wounds, roll a d6 on a 5 or 6, you are instead immediately restored to d3 plus 1 health. It costs a weight, and it gives it costs 2 dark stone, but I am doing that. So I'm going to spend 6 of my dark stone. Bam. And I'm gaining the dark stone heart and what, You have 1 dark stone left? I do. So that is something I totally can use. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> amulet. Does it actually list anything besides amulet? On there? Gear, dark stone amulet, one and a endil. But and it's just gear dark and dark stone amulet, which means I can wear multiple. So dark stone. Heart amulet. It is two of those, one of those. Effect. When KO. So that'll get me my herbs back. Okay. Just so I can. Uh, is there anywhere else we really need to go? What do these guys do? Uh, I suggest we spend the second day at the guardhouse. What does the guardhouse give us? That's where we can train with the soldiers and go for watch, get more money. Just so we have more money. I'm down to 35 bucks. Don't have enough to cast auras. Uh, can I, I see what the swordsmith I am liking... Swordsmith. 
I'm liking there is a lot more use for Darkstone in this world. Um, Seven, ten. Yep. Okay. Because, like, you can go to the uh, shrine, give up some Darkstone, and you can gain a Blessed Aura. That's awesome. Uh, what's your san your sanity? Is that a four plus? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Um, guardhouse, guardhouse. What does guardhouse do? Guardhouse does. Ooh, I need to save up for that one. I could use the archer's bow when I get money. Critical hit, so 5 plus or 4 plus if you did not move. It's like I need to save up to 2,200 yeah. to get the forged armor. It's an armor 5 plus, but I gain a fury at the start of each fight. Oh, that's right. If I were a soldier, I can work the White Night Watch. Yeah. Roll 8 die. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, but that starts me with wounds. I don't want to do that. I actually have nowhere really to go. Uh, what is this? Tavern? Tavern might be good. Tavern gets me sake. Yeah. I don't have any money. I can't even play uh, Karuta. I could play Dragon Cho Chohan Dice. No. I'm actually good. Plus, yeah, I need to go to the tavern. I gotta go buy some sake. All right. Well, uh, I guess I go to the campsite. I can't really afford anything else. So, can I sell stuff at any place? You can sell anywhere. Uh, specific things like dark stone can only be sold at the uh, outhouse or the guardhouse. Okay. So, okay. End of the day, roll a d6. You need to roll a two plus. Good. We're good. Second day. Um, oh, nope. First things first. We both have to roll. Oh, yes. The campsite one. Eight. I'm safe. Roll. Eight. I'm, it's six to 11 is the good, is the safe one. 11. 11. 12 would have been better. Yeah. Um, so where are you going? I have nowhere to go. I guess I can go. I think there I can do uh, the Chohan Dragon Dice game for uh, Minimum 25. 25. So I might just do that, blow all my money. Uh, immediately gain D3 plus 1. Okay, that's kind of cool. Once per adventure. It's like uh, at the tavern you can drink yourself into a stupor so you can if you get doubles you can choose to remove a madness or if Yay. it's double sixes remove parasite all right i have i saw there was 25 so i'm gonna drop myself down to 10 what is drag what does dragon dice do i know it's uh you have two white and one red right? between 25 to 25 50 and decide if you will bet on cho even Han, Odd, or Ryu, which is Dragon. Then roll two white and one red dice all together. If the two white add up to an even number, Cho wins. If it's an Odd, Han wins. But if the single red die is higher than both of the individual white values, they're devoured by the Dragon, and Ryu wins. Okay. So, three white, three dice, one of a different color. Uh, I bet <clears throat> evens or odds on these... But if this beats both... Both of the single numbers. Both of the individual numbers. Yep. So if the red, Dragon Die, beats both of the single numbers... So pretty much don't roll high on the red is theoretically the, the, the goal here. And bet, bet odds. 
Seven, and the four does not beat both of those. So odds, what do I get? Uh, if you choose correctly, double your bet, or if or triple if you bet Andre. I bet on odds, so 60 bucks. Spend 25, doubled it for 50, plus 10 I had, $60. That's not bad. All right. Uh, and that's, that's limit three times per visit. Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I want to keep doing that. What are you doing in here? But that's $50, and I can gain a sake off well, we of gotta... that. Oh, we do got to do that. Maybe I don't even get that money. Four. Tavern brawl. A nasty bar fight has broken out. Make a five plus strength test. Oh, I got some of that through. now. I have strength. I'll make my five plus strength. No problem. I will not make my five plus. What happens? If failed, take D6 wounds, ignoring defense from the bumps and bruises. I take five wounds, ignoring defense, but I have a six plus natural armor now. Because I am I'm a good. Dragon. Oh, I know. I take five wounds. <laughs> That's fine. I naturally heal being a dragon, so okay. it's cool. And mine. Ten. Ten. Feeling mighty. Looking around the tavern, you feel like you could take on the world tonight. You are two, plus two luck and plus two strength during this location visit. You also gain 25 for each four rolled on test, of, test your mind. Which is strength-based. What is test your might? Challenge limit once per visit. Challenging a shady looking character, you compete in a contest of strength and gut. Roll dice equal to your strength for each one or two. Take two wounds, ignoring defense or d6 wounds if it's a one. And for each die that rolls on five, you gain 50. Since we're feeling mighty, you get plus two to your dice. Plus fours, you gain 25 bucks. If you roll a six, that's 200. And you can push your luck to roll another two dice. Even on sixes, you get the additional. Or even on sixes, roll. So the I can go, additional. my little sorceress ass can go and pick on somebody stupid. Yes. I get five dice because I'm now dragonborn. Every one and two causes penalties. Yep. And every five plus causes happiness. Four plus. Because you're feeling mighty. So it's all on a four. It's on a four plus. We get the benefit. Four, you gain twenty five. Five, you gain fifty. Six is you gain two hundred. So on a four plus, happiness happens. Fuck yeah. Oh! I don't know if you guys can see that. That is awesome. A four, a five, and three sixes. You yeah. can also push your luck for an additional two dice. And it just keeps doing more damage. Yep. Every one or two causes that many wounds? Uh, one is d6. Two is two. And what do I get for sixes? 200. You still get... you If you get more sixes off of this, you still get the 200 for... <sighs> go big, then go home! Woohoo! I'm gonna die. No, threes. Just don't do anything. Don't do anything. So I get 25. 50 is 75. And then 675? Yep. Okay. Also, since you are also feeling lucky, you can play the Samurai Kachura, which is a luck-based thing. Okay, 675 puts me a minute subtract. Oh my god, my brain cannot think of this many numbers this fast, this early in the morning. This is uh, why we have phones with calculators. Yep. Remember when your teacher said you would never have a calculator? You wouldn't always have a calculator at your hand? Yeah, except now we have phones. So 675 plus that. So 735 bucks. It's like we Damn, need I went from having nothing to having money. It's like we need to have an assassin with us because that's how we get our contracts. Ah. Uh, so it's as you were upstairs. here, we kind of guessed that she would <clears throat> she would play the assassin because it's kind of the nimble, quick character. You're a low threat um, card. All right. Or if he, if you are a hero level four or higher, you may draw an epic threat. Oh Jesus. Um. Okay. Well, what are you gonna do? What do you got? What are you doing? You want to test your might? Yep. So roll your strength plus two dice if you want. So. Because you made us feel mighty. So actually, you do. It's not even. You get plus two dice. So. It's you are plus two dice yep. during this visit. So that puts me at six. 
Six dice. See if you can roll as amazing as I did. No. Um, no. <laughs> I see two ones and a two. Well, I gained 200. So you gained 200 bucks. Actually, I'm going to first press my luck. All right. I gained 225. So 225 bucks. And let's see. Two. Four. And then these need to be rolled for damage. Yep. I know. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm totally good. It's good. It's fine. So roll those. So five and four. So nine, t nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen damage. Ignoring defense. That's fine. So don't worry about it. There's eight. There's five more. You roll them all, all at once. Thirteen days. Uh, what do you have? Like a four, five plus? Yep. All right. She could kill herself right here. Not quite. I got an eighteen like, health. Oh, can't kill yourself here. Uh, so hit, two. hit. So three, six, nine, ten, eleven wounds. Oh my god. I'm fine. <clears throat> what else are you going to do? Go ahead and make your decisions. Make them quick. This episode is running long. I have five wounds. I suck. I have 11. Yeah, well, stop picking on things and people. I'm sorry. That's my job. Right? I'm in the bar. There was a brawl. There was a tavern brawl. I'm like pumped up. Yeah. So that's why I'm feeling mighty. Well, you see, you watched me get pushed around and knocked around, and then you're like, ah, watch this. And you push your way through, and you're like, yeah, that's right. And you're like the short little dude. That'd be great. You're like this big. <laughs> You're like a dwarf among uh, among midgets. But I do have money here, and I'm going to buy a sake. How much are sakis? 50. 50? I can totally you, afford. Or you can buy a straw one, which is 125. How much does that do? 2d6 sanity. You know what? I got the money. I got six, that puts me down to six hundred and ten. I will take a strong sucky. So I'm getting a fire sake and two strong. What do you got for money? Six hundred and ten. <laughs> Remember, I just want a ton of money. It's like if you really wanted to, you could get the sake cask. 300. It is a weight, though. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, bandages, whiskey, dynamite, herbs, tonic. Oh, that's why there isn't extra whiskey, is there? There has to be extra whiskey. Strong whiskey? I don't know. I don't know. We'll put uh, strong sack. Mm -hmm. And I have one of those as well. Okay, anything else you're going to do here? Otherwise, it's time to end the day. Get punished for how the day ended. Nope. Feudal Japan, that's this door right here. Oh, God. All right, what else you got? Anything? You know what? I'm also going to be ballsy and... Challenge the dragon? Yep. Two white, one red. How much are you spending? What do I got? I don't know. What do you have for money? Five. No, I'm just gonna go. Go I'm big and start, go home. Uh, start with fifty. So I can. So do fifty. Yeah. All right. Um, we're gonna go. Evens, odds, or the dragon. We're gonna try odds. It is evens, and the dragon eats them all. Yep. I didn't get anything. 
So you get nothing? That's all it is? You just lose? Yeah. Well, dude, I'm just asking. She was wrong, your bet is lost. So you lose 50 bucks. Yep. Try again? Yep. <laughs> yeah. We're going to do the dragon. Dragon? Nope. Evens, and the tiny dragon of level two comes out. I'm going to do it for the third time. Putting 50 in each time. 50 oh. each time. Here we go. Who were you betting on? I was choosing dragons again. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it, is, uh, it is evens with five and three, and the largest dragon eats them all. So what do you get for dragon winning? I triple the bet. Triple the bet, so 150. So you get all the money you spent. Woo! Um, you know what? Go big, then go home. I got two plays of this left. Uh, we'll bet on the dragon, and we'll spend 50 bucks. Dragon wins. Six. I have a dragon of six, and I have a total of six. My dragon wins. Uh, you get 150. I do get 150, which means I get 100 back. So seven ten. I am done. I have nothing else I want to do here because there is nothing else I can do here because the tavern, unless you're a horrible person, has nothing Why available. Is that to three. Plus I have plus two. For what? You're gonna. You already tested your might. No, I'm going to play Samurai Karuta. Based oh. Luck based gambling. Okay. What do you got? So. Minus the fifty dollars to get in. Okay. Make it luck five plus test. We have plus two luck for this, don't we? For today, don't we? Yes, we do. So what's your luck at? Three plus two. So five. Five. Holy hell! There's three sixes. What does that do for you? If successful, gain fifty dollars for every five plus rolled. So one hundred fifty bucks. You gained a hundred dollars. Well, one hundred fifty dollars, but. Okay, I'm totally done. <coughs> what do you got? Five, six, nine. Good turn. Did you want to be lucky? No. No? Uh, double checking that my luck isn't any higher. Luck is three, which is five. What is it, 50 bucks again? Yep. All right, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Fine, fine, fine. You're a bad influence. I'm drunk. What do you expect? Uh, for it's just a, f a five plus. You make yep. a test, and then for every five plus you get, you get fifty bucks. Yeah. I spend fifty, get fifty. It's so, like if failed, you lose. Not that I want to, but how many times can you do this? Once. Oh, okay. Well, Dumb, you, stupid. Don't you also have one more for the dragon? If you I really could. wanted to do it. No, stop making me spend money. <laughs> I thought that we needed to start saving money. I need to save money to pay off the next healer to maybe fix my ass. All right, end of the day? Yep. Here we go, three plus. Three plus it is. We're good. We don't blow up the town. Um, that's it. That's going to be the end of today's episode. Next episode, we'll start and adventuring. we're shoved back into... Yeah, pretty much we're forced out of town as we have to hurry up and get back out to uh, defend the darkness. It took us... An extra day or two to get to the town. So we weren't allowed to stay. Yep. Um, so come back next episode and watch oh, us hey, start look, heading I for the next adventure. Oh, hey, look, I forgot to collect my stuff for my heads. Yes. So Again, three heads, I, I believe. Got two heads. Or two heads. Yeah, <laughs> we only had two monsters, I suppose. Yeah. I suppose when you play the rules the right way, you don't fight as many things. So that puts me to two... Now, do you have to take a different head every time? No. It just so, like, we could have three Onis show up and you could cap each one of them and grab a head? Use when you kill an enemy to collect their head. Keep track of how many heads you collect. Okay. And then at the end of the adventure, for each head collected, 10 XP, 25. Okay, so it is not like the uh, specimen jars thing for the other guy? Yes. Okay. Um, all right, guys. Thanks for coming and checking this out. We I know this episode went super long. I apologize for that. We wanted to get all of this out of the way. Didn't think Town's Day was going to take that long. Um, for two days. For two days. It is sometimes it's the kind of the boring part of the game. Uh, really hard to film and make entertaining for television. Um, but we do appreciate you guys for coming and hanging out and checking this all out. 
Uh, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you are subscribed. Hit that notification button so that you get notified every time we upload. We do upload content almost every day. Um, and uh, give us a thumbs up. It'll help us out. We can bring more of this content for you to you more often. Uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.